hello and today I am not going to be talking about a video game or a video game system. I'm going to be talking about the Colby TV. Now this thing is great. I I found this at a Goodwill. And this thing is the best. So it's made in China and you know, back when this came out, probably came out around the same time the Intellivision came out, <laughs> but when this came out, they didn't have boxes that gave you channels, so you can't really get channels, and I tried to hook up a box to this, and it's possible, it's just really hard. There are a lot of wires. So I found it with this piece, which is supposed to connect it to a box. And it's got a, in the back here, it's got all kinds of little switches. I know it might be hard to see, but there are switches to switch it from taking batteries, which it takes. If I can take this off, this thing is not easy to handle. This is a... I did not mean to turn it on. I put down the antenna, flip this upside down. Oh no, I, I taped it closed, so I forgot. And the end piece keeps on coming off. So you can tell these things have really, really aged. But it takes 10, 10 C batteries. It's a lot of batteries. It certainly needs a lot of power. So you can change it from using batteries to external power, and uh, again, it takes an AC adapter. Now, it does have tuning on the side, because not only is this a TV, like you may have heard, it was a radio. So, down here, you can change it from uh, radio, TV, to radio. So you can change it to all those different types of things. So if I turn this down to TV, you can see what a great signal I get. So if I turn this off, you can see it has volume, it has a headphone jack, and uh, it's kind of weird. It's it's like one piece. It's not just one little line going up and down. It's like a whole piece. I think that's really cool. So this Colby TV, I think it's really neat. Now it was originally designed so you could watch TV in your car. If texting and driving was bad now, I'm sure the big problem in the 60s was that people were watching TV in their car. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about this. I think this is great. Uh, I love just having a radio that has a screen on it. It, it was definitely inventive. I'd never heard of one before until I saw it, so I don't think they were that popular. But it's great. It has a speaker on each side. And with this piece, you can, you know, you have those little forks that you screw in there. I might be able to play my ColecoVision on this if I ever get one or any system that has that little type of fork ends that you screw in. I know there's some, the original Intellivision had one, so if I ever get a system, I might be able to play my video games on a Colby TV. You, you tape an Intellivision to the bottom of this. You've got a portable Intellivision. It's like a Game Boy, but times a thousand of size. So, thank you for watching my review of the Colby TV. Thank you for watching.